the studio audience to follow me around every single Can you guys follow us around every day? We'll hire you. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Welcome back to And the Winner Is. We're here with a live studio with a beautiful audience. Winner. Yeah, it's our Oscar special. Live from Hollywood. Hollywood, excuse me. Hollywood. No, Hollywood is <laughs> not so bad. <laughs> so, so Chris Rock, everyone had been anticipating Chris Rock, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I thought he did a tremendous job. I have to say, we've got a wonderful panel here to dig right into it, but I thought he might come out at the top of the show, maybe dance around the yeah. Oscar So White thing a little bit, yeah. warm up the crowd, but he didn't. He went straight to it. Kamal Bell, you're a stand-up comedian. You know what it takes to so just... Oh, I don't know what that took. I, I, would, I would have said, no thank you, Oscars. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's okay, remind our audience This is when he talked, about, um, how, he talked about racism, right, mm. in Hollywood. And how, it, so he said, it's not like it used to be years ago. It made some people very uncomfortable in the room, I have to tell you. A lot of, like, people were looking around going, should I laugh? Yeah, what there were moments that were a little tense. Yeah. Let's play a Here clip. It is. Hollywood's racist, but it ain't the racist you th that you've grown accustomed to. Hollywood is sorority racist. It's like, we like you, Rhonda, but you're not a Kappa. I thought that was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're not that, a Kappa. I thought that was brilliant. Yeah. What do you guys think? I, I thought it was brilliant, but go ahead. Kamal? Uh, you know, he used to employ me, so I thought he was great. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that particular one shot where he talked, he said, listen, it's not like it, you know, it's not like it used to be. Um, it's not overt. It's like, like, you know, but it's, it's almost like a sorority or fraternity. Attorney. Well, it's, literally a, get it's in. literally a fraternity. I can't walk up into the Academy Award and say, I'd like to vote. Like, it's literally a fraternity. Yeah. yeah. The whole thing. So, it's, yeah. I thought he did a great job of telling the story of what's going on and not just stick, sticking to set up punchline, set up punchline, what we're used to in an opening monologue, but he actually took the time to talk to us about what's going on and then throw in a punchline and then be real and talk to us again. I thought he kept it all the way real with yeah. his punchlines as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Alicia, Alicia, what do you think? I, I really liked it because I, so much pressure was on him for this role. Everyone yeah. was waiting to see what he would do. And I love that he just went hard. He, he went for it. He was provocative. He was controversial. But he said everything that I think most people would agree with. Yeah. Yeah. And he was very funny at the same time. I think mm. that the truth is often spoken in jest, right? Yes. And I think as uh, comedians don't have the sort of constraint that some people, oh, you have to be politically correct. Mm -hmm. I can't say this. I can't say that. And when he said that, uh, people were sort of looking at each other like, oh, maybe you're right. Because if you actually look around the room, there weren't that many people of color in the room at all. Yeah. What? Which was indicative, which was indicative. Can we, can we do, before we get the, to the Kevin Hart one, can we get to the Stacey Dash one? Oh. Because it was indicative of the kinds of people who were in the room, the people who made up the room, because a lot of people in the room didn't get the joke about Stacey Dash. Mm -hmm. Look at this. And that is why it is my honor to introduce the new director of our minority outreach program. Please welcome Miss Stacy Dash. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to help my people out. Happy Black History Month. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? Oh no. I wanted to die when that happened. I mean, what did you guys think? Because I wanted oh. to die. Uh, it was unreal. Good, we'll bad. Finish. Yeah. No. It was. Really you, well, go, ahead. go ahead. You bring up a good point, though, about I don't think everybody got it. Hardly anyone got it. People were like, people were going, is that the girl from, isn't she, like, but no But the one, people who yeah. did get it, we were hurting inside. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and <laughs> we were like, oh, God. I had, a, I had a glory tear going. It was bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, bad. yeah. But, but, but explain to people why you were hurting exactly. inside. It, well, it's so awkward. We were talking about backstage that um, she probably thought she was helping her career. First of all, Stacey Dash is a black actress. She is on Fox News. She's very conservative. And she speaks out on issues. And people think that she's anti-black, even though she's black, because she rarely comes to the side that most African Americans think she should be on. And, and she... In the does, correct side? Yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. But but also, that's what, also worth saying, to give context to what she said, didn't Stacey Dash say that she thought Black History Month should be, should be banned? Yeah, there shouldn't be a black history. There shouldn't be a black history. There were yeah. many levels yeah. to that whole joke. Yeah, that, whole right. joke. that there shouldn't be ahead. black history month, there shouldn't be BET and all that kind of stuff. And so we were thinking she probably thought this was gonna help her career, like, oh, I'll get back on everybody's good side if I make fun of myself, but then it didn't work. You didn't like it? I mean it just felt I just felt like I don't know that 
I mean, I'm not. She she obviously agreed to do it. It didn't feel like it landed in the way that uh, that she would have wanted it to land. And as much as I don't agree with her politically, I just felt like you just stood in front of an audience of people and no to say what you were told was a punchline, and nobody left. Okay, it was like the end of Carrie with the pig's blood. That's here's, what I <laughs> here's why I thought it was brilliant. Because why? if it was actually that way, then he got her right. I don't know. The, I'm, no, I'm not trying to. Keep not, who, who knows? But I also thought that because most people didn't really get the thing is that sometimes we put too much emphasis on what people think and what people say and when most people don't even get it they don't even realize it Stacey Dash does not have that much power and doesn't have that big a voice so why are we so concerned about what Stacey Dash is saying when no one in that room got it and that means That's most true. people in the country but black did Twitter not was even all get over it, it. Well, black, what was, black, about what was black Twitter Dash? what were they saying there was a lot of the same thing we felt uh, just the cringing yeah. the meme there was already like 10 memes by the time she finished her <laughs> sentence <laughs> yeah. just, have we seen her quick. is she okay do we yeah. need can we cut to her I mean, somewhere? I think it's we, funny, but, but do we give Stacey Dash in memorial? Yeah. But yeah. do we give Stacey Dash too much power to, for something like that? That's that's what I was thinking. I don't. It's not about giving her power. Yeah. I just felt if they had shown a picture of her and made that joke, it would have felt differently. But the fact that I just that she showed up, she put on a nice dress. <laughs> yeah. she came up, she's never been on that stage before. She ain't coming back anytime soon. She, and it was pig blood, <laughs> and then she walked right off stage. You know what? This was a monologue that was full of so many great moments. Yeah. So many great moments that made you cringe. Um, there was also a moment with Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart that we want to share with you and get your, your thoughts on that. Because I thought Kevin Hart was also a star tonight. Yeah. Uh, let's yeah. play that. They're not going to cancel the Oscars because I quit. You know? And the last thing I need is to lose another job to Kevin Hart. Okay? <laughs> 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 what, what did you guys think? I mean, because he actually made a very valid point. You that know, joke was more about um, about Jada Pinkett Smith, though, than Kevin Hart, right? He's like, I shouldn't quit Kevin, because, you, because they said, you know, that boycott. they should boycott. Yeah, and he's and like, he's like why, you know, Jada, why would, I, why would I do that? But it's also about representation, because he's basically saying that there's only so many roles for black actors. And so Come therefore, out. if Kevin Hart gets it. I hate to cut you off, but we do have a moment that we want to share with our viewers at home. We've got our own Stephanie Elam at the Governor's Ball, and we want to bring that to our viewers live. All the celebs uh, are there, and she's got an Oscar winner with her. Hi, Steph. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. You guys are having so much fun in the studio. <laughs> I should have been here. Awesome. And this man is having a great night. This yeah. is Charles Randolph. He has won an Oscar for Adapted Screenplay here for The Big Short. Not a bad night. Fantastic. I, I am. My birthday today. I'm 53 years old. Yes, yes. I've wanted this for a while, I have to say. And I'm really happy. And I'm it came very in your happy. Size. It came in my size. Yeah. It's heavy. It's heavy, as everyone says. Yes. You know, is so. it really heavy? Yeah, can I see? Yeah, of course. Oh, oh, it is heavy. Eight and a half pounds, actually. Eight and a half pounds. Yeah, exactly. Get your workout on. Exactly. So, so tell me, the big short, what I loved about it is the explainers. Of right. Making it those bumps right, up sure. moments. Yeah, right, sure. Right, like, right, right. What the heck is yeah, going right, on here? Right. How hard was that to pull together? You know, you know, it's funny. It took a while for, you know, Adam and I both worked really hard to make this thing clear. But we had in Michael Lewis's book such a great model of someone who really took some very complicated stuff and, and put it together. And, and Adam and I have very different sensibilities. I'm a little bit more satirical. He's a little bit more farcical, and it kind of worked. It's just one of those rare peanut butter and chocolate moments where it just, it worked. Yeah, you know? it's yeah. pretty awesome to see a movie that's so much about something that was devastating for so many people, and then to make it entertaining, and also when it's convoluted, to make people understand it. You know, we walked into the studio to pitch this thing. It, it, the line was, we're going to make you as laugh as much as possible on your way to getting pissed off. And that's... <laughs> That's what it was about. It was yeah. fantastic. And I have to say, 53 looks fantastic oh, on you, 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 as you. does your man here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to have it. Thank have you. a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks. <laughs> right, bye. Fantastic. So nice. So nice in such a great mood, right? It's just so nice to see the winner. Stephanie, Stephanie, you, know, right. you look gorgeous. Who are you wearing? Thank you. I'm wearing Tadashi Shoji, and I'm wearing some Forever Mark Diamonds, if you can see that action going on in my ear there. <laughs> oh, you yeah. didn't even take a pause. You're like, I said, Stephanie, who are you? I'm wearing. Blah, 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 before I even got the question. I gave you two out. things. I gave you two things. You know, we're having fun out here. How you, how you doing, Seth? You look lovely. Thank you. I'm fine. It's funny listening to you guys and knowing how you do. And we will. <laughs> we're, we're, just classic. All right, Steph, we'll get back to you when you get someone else. Holler, we'll come back to you.
She's having a lot of fun yeah. out there. She looks gorgeous. We will check in with her many, many more times. Of course, the ceremony itself is just part of the drama and excitement, as we've been saying. There's a yeah. lot going on tonight. Coming up, we'll look at how some of these year, this year's showstoppers, how they really brought it all to a halt on the red carpet. There was some really great yes. fashion this year. Yeah, and also ahead, uh, he won the expectations, but did he win the award? We're going to see whether it was finally Leonardo DiCaprio's turn to take home the gold. But we know the answer to that all. <laughs> <laughs> we already know that. Brother one. <laughs> we'll be right back.